Hello and welcome to the channel and I'm here for a CD collection video for the band Demon Hunter. Now Demon Hunter is one of those bands that mean a lot to me since they were one of the bands that got me into metal. So let's go ahead and get started with this collection and we start off with of course the debut album which is I think kind of an underrated album. I don't really see a lot of fans talk about this one much. Uh, not their best album but definitely not their worst either so definitely a good album. Next, Summer of Darkness. Now this one is actually one of my least favorite Demon Hunter albums, which is, I know, not a very popular opinion, but I do have some complaints with the album. Uh, the album lacks ballads, for one. For two, I feel like this album has a lot of filler to it, kind of overstays its welcome, an album that drags on longer than it needs to, but I think for what the album is, it's still pretty good, even though it, I don't think it's one of their best. Next, The Triptych. Now, this album is one of their best for sure. I know there's a lot of people that can agree on that. Some people have this at number one. Some people have it in, in the top three. And for understandable reasons, I mean, I know some people might say that the album is a little overrated with Demon Hunter fans. For me, I don't think it's overrated. I think this album is well-deserved of the recognition that it gets. It has some of, the, uh, some of their best ballads, some of their best songwriting, and there's just a lot to like about this album. I mean, to pick favorites from this album, I really like Not I, Deteriorate, 1000 Apologies, Ribcage, and The Tide Began to Rise. Those are all really great songs. Definitely a solid album. Next, we got Storm the Gates. Now, I know this album is kind of divisive in the Demon Hunter fan base. And the reason I say that is because, well, I know there's some people that say that this is one of their best, but there's also people that say that this is their least favorite or one of their least favorites. I mean, a common complaint that I've heard with this album is the production. Now, the production, um, this is probably one of their worst produced albums, but their worst album overall, I don't think I would agree with that. It's not my favorite Demon Hunter album, but it's not my least favorite either. I think this album is actually pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's not one of their best, but I do think it's still a solid album. Next, we got 45 Days Documentary. The World is a Thorn. There was a time where this was my least favorite Demon Hunter album, but now it's kind of grown on me a little bit. Uh, still not one of my favorites, but I still do like the album though, um, definitely very good. I mean, it does have the song that got me into the Demon Hunter after all, which is Collapsing, and that is one of the best songs on the album for sure. So yeah, good album. Then we got True Defiance. Now, I think this is one of their best as well. In my opinion, I think that at the time, this was probably the best thing that Demon Hunter has done since the Triptych. Definitely a great album, definitely um, a top three best Demon Hunter album in my opinion, and I know there's a lot of people that can agree with that. Uh, to pick uh, some favorite tracks from this album, I gotta go with Crucifix, Tomorrow Never Comes, Someone to Hate, and Dead Flowers. Dead Flowers is, it's probably one of my favorite Demon Hunter songs. If it's not in my top three, then it's definitely in my top five favorite Demon Hunter songs, but I don't know, it's up there though, so yeah, definitely a great album. Next, Extremist. Now, this was actually the album that, um, the first album of theirs that I've actually sat down and listened to in full, which is, I, I know, kind of surprising, since I know this is not a lot of people's start when getting into Demon Hunter, or, you know, at least as far as the first album is concerned. Um, but I like this album. Uh, I know there's some people that don't really like it, or some people that say that it's one of Demon Hunter's weakest, I definitely don't agree with that at all. I think this album is very solid. There's a lot of really great songs on this album, and I think this is probably one of their best produced albums too, like uh, one of their albums with the best production. And I know that the band themselves have even stated that this is the album that they're most proud of. I mean, this album kind of nails it uh, when it comes to the balance between heaviness and melody. There's a lot of really great stuff on this album. Now we get to an album where I feel like they've definitely um, had a misstep, I guess. I mean, in my opinion, I think this is their weakest. Outlive. 
Now, there was a time where I didn't really want to be honest with myself and say that this was their weakest, because I remember when this album was coming out, I just remember being overly excited for this album. And nowadays, I'll admit, the album doesn't really hold up very well. Uh, it's not all bad. I mean, it's not the worst thing that I've ever I've ever listened to, but it's probably my least favorite Demon Hunter album. This album is just kind of all over the place, I think. Like, there's there's some moments in this album where it just has no structure or flow, or proper structure, I should say. But, yeah, and the reason I say that is because, you know, there's some songs where, you know, you get some more uh, radio rock-friendly songs, and then the following track is just this real heavy song that's just real in your face, and it just feels like a mess in a way. So, yeah, I do think it is their weakest, but it's not the worst thing, obviously, that I've ever heard. I mean, there is some good stuff on this album, especially in the second half of the album. I mean, the second half the second half of this album is actually not too bad. There are some really great songs in the second half, especially uh, Patience and uh, Slight the Odds. Uh, partic particularly those two songs are really good. So that's Outlive. I also have the deluxe edition to Outlive. Comes with the CD on one side, the DVD on the other. On the CD, you get two bonus tracks. Now, the both the bonus tracks, I actually really like. I kind of wish they would have placed those on the standard ed edition of the album because, well, I think it would have made the album a whole lot better, actually, because the deluxe tracks are actually pretty darn good. I, I really like them, both of them, actually, but that's what the deluxe edition looks like. It came in this box set here, the Outlive box set. So that's what the box set looks like. You get some uh, cool stuff with that. Like, I know you get a ring and uh, some al uh, extra album covers. You know, it it's pretty cool. But next, we're going with War. Uh, some people say that this is a return to form for the band. I know there's people that really like this album. There's some people that are kind of, like, mad with the album. To me, I'm one of those people that are kind of, like, meh with the album, I guess. Like, it's not one of their best, but it's not their worst either. It's basically my uh, stance on the album. I think it's it's kind of okay. It's pretty good. I mean, it's better than Outlive for sure. But I don't think that this album is as great as some people claim it to be. But I do think that of the two uh, albums that they've released on the same year as this, War and Peace, I definitely prefer War over Peace. I think mainly just because this album just sounds more like Demon Hunter overall than Peace did. Peace is obviously more experimental, but yeah, but War, it's it's pretty good. It's not one of their best, but I do the I think it's a pretty good album. I mean, it does have the song Lesser Gods, which is I think maybe the best song that they've done since the Extremist time, I guess. But yeah, decent album. Then we of course got Peace. Uh, this album, I'll be honest, it is one of my least favorite Demon Hunter albums. Um, definitely a bit different, a bit, uh, experimental for the bands. Um, there is some good songs on here. Well, there are a, a, are a couple good songs, and the rest of the album is just kind of meh, and then there's a couple songs that are just like, this is some of their weakest material. You know, I do think that this album does have some of Demon Hunter's worst songs, but... The album, it's not all bad. I'd say it's slightly better than Outlive, but not by much. But yeah, Peace, it's an okay album. Definitely a bit different and unique in the band's discography, so I guess uh, that's something that some people appreciate, because I know that that album does have its fans. But of course, lastly, we got the latest acoustic album, Songs of Death and Resurrection. And I think this is a pretty solid acoustic album. Uh, I really like the way they redone some of these songs, and I think it's very good. So, Songs of Death and Resurrection, I mean, uh, I will admit the album doesn't really hold up as well as it did when it first came out, but I still do return to certain songs here and there from this album. So, yeah. But that's it for this Stephen Hunter collection video, guys, uh, and I, of course, look forward to their new upcoming album, Exile, which is probably not going to come out till sometime early 2022. I mean, 
I guess there's a chance it could come out later this year, which I'd I'd be very surprised if it came out this year instead, but we'll see. Only time will tell, of course, but that's my collection video, guys, for Demon Hunter. So let me know what you guys think. What CDs and albums do you have from Demon Hunter? Do you have their albums on CD? Do you have them on vinyl? Uh, do you buy their albums uh, digitally, maybe through iTunes? Uh, what all, what albums do you have from the band and what are your favorites, your least favorites? And just feel free to let me know all your thoughts on Demon Hunter and your thoughts on maybe each of their albums and just feel free to let me know all your thoughts. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and take care.